Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Today's video features the Stephanie Dawn Zip Tote in the pattern Mosaic. We will come back to this in just a moment, but first, what are we moving out of? Um, I've been in my Vera Bradley Custom On The Go in the Halloween pattern since the week before Halloween, basically since it arrived, and I could put a video here for that if you want to take a look at those um, video when I got it and compare it to the small Vera tote in the same pattern. Anyway, so you can take a look at that. But this bag has been great. On the go is one of my favorite bags. It's just a great size. It's a medium to large handbag, crossbody, shoulder bag, and has just the right amount of organization for me to use pouches and whatnot inside. But without further ado, let's dive in. So this front zipper pocket has nothing in it, but you can see the interior. I did choose the um, Spooky Cats. For the inside and dogs on the outside because you know priorities <laughs> in one side I have a sunglass case um, this is in Holland Garden it's actually the readers case but I put my sunglasses in there and these are the Daisy Dot Paisley sunglasses um, also Vera Bradley and the opposite side I just have a hand sanitizer lotion I have a hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works it does glow in the dark. It's very bright, actually. And then it does talk. <laughs> so cute. But Halloween's over now, and I'm not going straight to Christmas, but <laughs> I am going to change out of this bag. I also have my Stephanie Dawn um, lip balm keeper, I think it's called, but it just holds my chapstick in there. It clips onto anything. This is in the chambray pattern. And that's it for the sides. In the inside... I have a medium cosmetic in best in show, so just the regular dogs pattern. And then I have a zip ID in best in show. I have a um, manicure kit in Holland Garden. I've got a inner loop keychain from the factory style in black. I've got my shopping tag bag charm with all my little shopping tags in there. Got my truck key. I mean, I've got all my all my keys in a big old gaggle. I have a pen, and in the zipper pocket here, I have a couple of masks. These are Vera Bradley masks. I haven't needed them lately because you know we're getting away from that. But there's a paisley. I've got a Santiago woven, and then I also have in here my best in show because that matched. And that is it for what's in my bag. It was all very simply organized, and there's some more of those spooky cats. So that's moved out. Um, basic load here. Let's dump this out as well, because it's kind of got an assortment of things. This whole main pocket was all tech stuff, charging cords and whatnot, and a hair elastic. And then the front pocket had just basics, like it had some gum, it had some mints, it had some like um, Advil, a leave, whatever, and some Tums chewables or anyway, something like that. Um, dental floss toothpicks and a lip balm. And <laughs> actually, ironically, the tag that I pulled off the front of the bag because I did not want to cover up my sweet Lucy in the pattern. So I saved the tag. It has some sticky on the back. I guess I'll get that off later. Anyway, so that is out. And that leaves us with just pieces to put in. So I grabbed a bunch of accessories that might match this bag, um, starting with the wallet. So notice I did not show a wallet in my Halloween. I was using the black Riley Compact Wallet, the RFID Riley Compact Wallet. But I changed out of that this morning because as I went off to breakfast, I transitioned ahead and I used my... Stephanie Dawn wallet in the mosaic pattern. This is, uh, I forget the name of it. It's like change about or change, hang on, I'll tell you. So I kept the tags, I pulled it off this morning. The convertible wallet, sorry, convertible wallet. And I already moved into it, like I said. So I've got my ID cards in the bottom there and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six card slots in the vertical there, but I have Actually, all of them are double stacks. Uh, one, or, one of them is triple stacked, so lots of lots of cards fit in there. It has two slots here, so it has a slot in front, it has a coin slot in the middle, and then a second slot in the back. So I have like my receipts, my med list, my coins, and then my dollars. It has two different straps. So you have this removable wristlet type strap on it, 
And then you have this longer strap that you can snap out. It snaps there and it snaps there. I actually am gonna leave that on for now because that's giving me my grab and go option. I actually wore it crossbody this morning. So that is the wallet. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I also grabbed the, oh, I think it's called the zip and clip, but it's like the zip ID has a little pouch. So I grabbed that, we're gonna move into. I grabbed my eyeglass case, in the same pattern. I grabbed my lip balm keeper in the same pattern. So you can see that's the trim off of the main pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's all I have in the no kidding matching accessories, but I grabbed a few other things. I grabbed the small essentials. This is Stephanie Dawn as well, just a plain black. But as you can see, you know, black of course coordinates with this pattern since that's the background color. I grabbed this little case, which I just think is so adorable. This is Vera Bradley. And I don't, I don't remember. I, I do know somewhere in my notes I have the name of the style and the pattern, but it's just the cutest little cylindrical, soft-sided zipper case. Um, I, I like to use it as like a tech thing or miscellaneous thing. So it may make the cut. I think it kind of matches, obviously not directly, but the colors and whatnot. It is a decent coordinating pattern. I grabbed these two. This is a Midtown Pouch Duo. It has like this hawthorn rose color and then this, I don't remember what this was called, cityscape or something. Um, but these are great pouches. I thought that the, the hawthorn pouch actually kind of goes very nicely with this pattern. So I might use that pouch. I, I for sure am not using the bigger pouch because it totally clashes, but there you go. I also grabbed a coin purse. This one is in Foxwood. This is Vera Bradley as well. I just thought that colors wise, it maybe has some potential. Obviously, it doesn't perfectly match. Um, probably not gonna make the cut because I have enough smaller pouches, but just grabbed it anyways. I also grabbed the compact organizer. This is a factory style lighten up in black, and it has the front has a mesh zipper pocket and two elastic mesh pockets. Obviously, the interior doesn't match, but don't care. And then it has the one big pouch that is that um, triangular shape, big on the bottom, small on the top. I don't know that that's gonna make the cut, but it might. Um, Stephanie Dawn, probably American style, American made. Yeah, there's just a card in the bottom of the bag. And then we have two hand sanitizer options. Both are great options. Here we are moving into fall, so it's cozy weather time. I think the bears, bears are hibernating. This one does match really cute. I think this one does make noise as well. I find the right spot maybe maybe the battery's dead anyway I think he used to snore or something I can't make it make noise but I think I'm not hitting the right spot anyway I don't care that it makes noise or not it's just really cute it is a little bit heavier and then I have this one which I think is the one I'm gonna go with just because it's holiday appropriate yes we're not in December yet but it does match very nicely and it kind of has a little bit of a brighter um, aspect to it. So I think I'm going to go with this one. It has got hand sanitizer already loaded. It's just a cute little gingerbread. So I think I'm going to go with that. But we'll just leave it on the table for the moment. Let's look at this bag. So this is the zip tote. It is a tote style, obviously. It's quilted cotton. It is made in USA. I do love that about Stephanie Dawn for sure. And this mosaic pattern is quite nice. It has the blue, pink, and then the brown neutrals with the black background. I, I like the geom geometric pattern. I love that they still have the detailed trim pattern and the interior is um, also mosaic. So that actually, um, it's not a dark hole, but it is a little bit busy for a pattern. But inside you have a bunch of pockets. You have three pockets across the back and two larger pockets on the front. The bag itself on the outside is structured exactly the same way. So on the same side, you have two large pockets on the outside, and this one has three inside and three outside. So they are proportioned that way. So there's your one and two and three. So really nice about that. You can pick whichever side you prefer to be the front, whether it's be the three or the two. Um, yeah, so you got options and a lot of organization inside and out, depending on how you stack it. It is a padded quilted handles and the zipper is right on the top. So you don't have that flap closure. So you do lose a little bit of capacity due to that configuration, 
but honestly it's quite a nice size for a tote bag you've got a nice size base it is a rigid bottom which is nice and that bottom is removable so the bag is machine washable um, but just be sure to take the bottom out it's cardboard so it wouldn't like totally ruin it but you definitely would have to rewash it if you washed it with the cardboard in there so you don't want to do that um, but it has a nice trim like I said and so it has a little bit of structure to it it's a very good quality cotton material and so it's pretty structured stands up on its own all right these straps by the way are not just connected right here if you were to go inside the pocket you can see this strap is actually sewn onto the bag all the way to the bottom so that's great that's very very rigid structure I mean not rigid but um, durable you know that's not gonna just pull off I always hate it when they're tacked just in one place it's actually tacked all the way down all the straps you can kind of see that on the back here I know the pattern isn't very conducive to seeing it so well but here's the strap and it's actually sewn all the way down to the bottom of the bag and it's just discreetly tucked in that pocket so you don't lose the pocket functionality I think that's a lovely way to have done it really makes a lot of sense to me all right so let's put stuff into the bag I don't like to keep my wallet on the outside so we're gonna take that wallet and we'll just put it in one of the big slips on the back of the bag for now and yeah I still got that strap hanging all over that's okay I think it's too big to fit in the small pocket I'm gonna take my sunglasses out of this case I may change sunglasses later but for now these are fine and I'll just put them into this sunglass case the matching one and I'm actually gonna put this on the outside I'm gonna put it in let's put it across over here I'm gonna put it in the outside small pocket on the side and that way I can get the, the sunglasses in and out without actually even taking it out completely it makes it really accessible but also very protected I'm straight away going to change my lip balm this is just a chapstick random chapstick brand not actual chapstick brand but southern arizona endodontics you know whatever i got it when i had my apicolectomy that's a tooth procedure you don't want to have all right so problem is this does not clip on super easily to anywhere because it doesn't have any rings or things to clip onto so what i'm going to end up doing is i will put a ring on here i'll put it around one of these straps and then i'll hook these two items onto the ring and um, i think these two match just fine together and they'll hang nicely together so for the moment i'll just clip them to themselves and hang it around the thing that won't stay but for now it gives you an idea the only problem with this not having those rings to clip it onto means that when i put my own ring it will always just slide when the handle drops so that I find rather annoying but it is totally doable and usable just like this um, for this um, zip ID I'll just transfer what's in here and what is in here is a couple things so first of all I have some business cards of mine that I'm not business but you know contact cards and then secondarily which is actually the majority of cards in here I have a whole stack of uh, compliment or comment cards. So you've got lug, choose happy. These are all facing all different ways. I don't know how I did that. So a whole bunch of different ones, a bunch from lug. And then I've got some Erin Condren ones and they just have nice things on them. Just kind of a little way to make a positive note in someone's day. So I will put those in here and actually let me rotate what was on the front, something that might Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to switch it up and put guardian angel one on the front because I think it matches pattern better so wherever you go may your guardian angel watch over you so that's lovely all right so I'm gonna put that in the front so that'll be in the window and I think that actually matches really nicely doesn't matter but there you go now I'm gonna put this inside on the smaller side where the three are and put that just opposite my wallet oopsie stay on the table all right manicure kit I will just keep the same manicure kit and I'll put that on the opposite uh, let me put it in the middle I put it in the middle so I've got some um, 
zip ID. I've got my manicure kit. The far side is open, but that's where the sunglasses are on the outside. And because there's just that one wall between them, if you put a bulky item in both sides, it kind of clashes. It shares a little bit of space. So I'm gonna lay off on that. Hmm. I think I am gonna have to use two little things. So a pouch might be the best way to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the strap with it. So I have the strap. This is gonna be my tech case. So I've got some wired earphones. I don't need the scent strip in there. Wired earphones. I've got a charging cable long with the plug. I've got a short cable, this uh, rainforest canopy. I've got an external battery. I've got a squeezy light. Is that all my tech? So that'll be my tech pouch right there. It's not too, too bulky, but it's got room for more, but it's plenty big. I'm just gonna put that in the other, you know, I'm not even gonna put it in the side pocket. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna put my wallet in the middle too. It doesn't actually need to be in that side pocket. Okay, so I'm just gonna take all three masks and put them in the small pocket behind the sunglasses there. Nope, it doesn't really fit there. So I'll put it in the big pocket. <laughs> I'm just moving all kinds of things around. Okay, keys right into the bottom of the bag, that's fine. All right, so that leaves just a few miscellaneous items and I'm gonna hopefully put them all in here. This is plastic lined, it's a white plastic. There is actually a pattern, you can't, you probably can't see it at all from there, but the, the quilted cotton does have a pattern behind it. It's like, I call it like the fish scales thing, but the white plastic makes it hard to see that. It's not important anyways. But I have my gum, my mints, some medicine, like, ooh, that's getting a little bulky. So this stuff isn't really gonna fit in there. So we might end up, let's try this one. That's what I get for having bulky little random items in here. We got, ooh, this is gonna be tight too. <laughs> oh, but it fits. Okay, so everything in there lined up with the lip balm and the thing on top. And that is actually the perfect little size for that. I might end up changing out what's in my little thing, but it can go right in the middle on top of the keys because the keys I really don't have to take out, honestly. That can stay in there. Go in that front pocket by itself. Okay, dokie. So I've got a pen. I'm going to put that in this side pocket sticking out. So we didn't use that and we got this on the outside. Okay, so that is what's in my bag. Let's take a quick review. We've got the hand sanitizer and the lip balm on the outside. I will put a ring on there so those can clip onto it. We've got my sunglass case with the sunglasses outside. The other two pockets are open. One of those will end up being my phone wherever my phone is right now and those aren't going to stay right now okay so the other one is open for now on the back we have nothing in those pockets on the inside we have a midtown pouch we've got this little miscellaneous pouch and underneath that is where the key bundle is i've got my wallet standing up in the middle so just those items on the other side in the big pocket i have three masks on the small side, I've got my zip ID, I've got my manicure kit, and I've got that Stephanie Dawn card in the other pouch. So, still room for more, but just the right amount of stuff, easily closes, and perfect to carry around just like that. That's what's in my bag. Now, before I go, I have some good news and bad news. The bad news is Stephanie Dawn is going away. They are closing it up. And I want to just share that information with you. Um, so let me kind of read from their closeout message. I will include the link down below. And I know that you all can read for yourself, but let me just share the info. Um, this is dated November 1st, 2021. It says, when we started the exclusive Stephanie Dawn handbag line in the summer of 08, we had just been informed that our customer of 25 years, which by the way, was Vera Bradley, uh, that that customer of 25 years was no longer going to use domestic vendors to produce their products. This, this left us, KAM Manufacturing Inc., 
with a very small timeline to design, produce, market, and distribute Stephanie Dawn. This was very challenging when you consider they had never done the design or marketing department, had never sold products in retail or wholesale, and in for the first 25 years of business were a sewing contractor where customers had a product that they needed manufactured and they produced it. Um, so it goes on to describe all of that. Their goal was to produce high quality quilted cotton handbags, luggage, and accessories made exclusively in the United States and to employ as many Americans as they could while producing the line. All of that I think they have done and done very well and I'm super glad that they did because I believe wholeheartedly in America. So there's that. Um, it does go on to talk uh, about some other things. Um, it says that they've been in business for 40 years and having done this Stephanie Dawn experience has helped them to grow. They've grown a lot in other ways, but Stephanie Dawn is only 3% of their production. So they've basically outgrown that product and 97% of their company is contract cut sew business. So they've kind of just gone that way with it. It's just no longer economically efficient for them to continue the Stephanie Dawn. So it's not a bad thing. I mean, it is bad because I love Stephanie Dawn, but um, it is good for the business. It's bittersweet for, for all of us, I'm sure you can agree, but um, there you go. So since 2009, KAM Manufacturing has almost doubled its workforce. Wages have gone up over 40%. They've added new technology and equipment to keep them competitive. They've retained and acquired many different commercial and government customers. Well, yeah, of course. So again, it talks about some other things. There's a big thank you in here to the customers who have got them to where they are. And I, for one, am sad to see them go. But the good news part of it is they're having a huge closeout sale. I will include that link below as well. And you can also just go to their site and find all this information. So there is a big sale. I myself just went and spent about $200 buying gifts for friends. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but there you go. This is kind of the last hoorah for Stephanie Dawn. So if you're a fan of Stephanie Dawn, get it while the getting's good because it's going fast. And I wish you all the best. And Thanksgiving's coming up. Hope you're all making good plans to be with family in this crazy times. And stay safe, be smart, be healthy, and be well. Bye for now.